Okay. So um, we'll give it like a few more seconds so more people can come on in. Welcome, everybody. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's time to get started. So uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Xavier Florenza, the automation specialist from Razul Iberica. Hi, let me share my screen. So hi, everybody. Uh, I hope uh, everybody can hear me. Thank you very much for this opportunity to share my thoughts and ideas and experiences. And today we'll talk about how to work with InfluxDB database with uh, Rockwell automation, hardware, and software solutions. Hardware meaning a PLC, and software meaning uh, factory talk optics and factory talk view. Okay, so the next steps, what uh, we will see in the future, and this will bring us to the questions section. We'll do a, a demo uh, just from my computer, writing from Windows CMD, an HTTP post to the InfluxDB that I have running on my computer. Okay, so I uh, log in. Okay, this is what you will see. Normally, you will see your buckets. So let's go to make the demo. I just copy this comment. Okay. And I go to my comment, Windows comment terminal, comment prompt, and I just paste uh, already the carry return is executed, so the request is executed. Okay, here we have the URL, the post with the URL, and the organization is Rockwell in this case, the bucket is Xavier, and uh, the access token, and the data. I will see this is the PLC data, this is the measurement, and the host, this is the sensor ID, and this is the data. Let's go to the, our database to see this data, two, three, two, four. Okay, and we go here. Here we can see, mm. let me do this, okay. And here we have the data. Let's put it in a single stat. So here we have the number. And now I'm going to change of chapter. Now uh, you will see how to use a hardware like a PLC, Control Logics or Compact Logics PLC from Rockwell. They are uh, running socket uh, TCPs. Sockets. Um, so then you use a library. You don't have to uh, type a lot of code. You just uh, download. This is an open source library called uh, Common Application Libraries. And you have one library about HTTP. You install on your PLC and you're able to do the same. I did with my computer, but from the PLC and writing data to the same database. And this is the, uh, what we call add-on instruction you get when you download the library and you will use this black box. Uh, it's like also called the uh, function block. Uh, this uh, AOI has some parameters and those are the values. These are some tags you have these tags as um, parameters when you download this and you just insert the payload. The payload is to specify in a string, the, which is the measurement, which is the sensor ID, and which is your data. Then you also have to 
specify the resource. This is the API and your organization and your bucket. Okay. You also give the URL where the database is running with normally this port. And also you have to give your authorization token like here. And we will see the demo uh, on a video. You can, you can download the code for the PLC here in GitHub. And then you only, only have to change your credentials on your organization, in your token, okay? Now I will play the video. Here at the left, you have the Studio 5000 PLC program with the IOI. Here you have your uh, payload. I will change the number here. One, two, three, four. I will inject this uh, number, this integer, just toggling to make this instruction run. And when I submit the query, I see this number. Uh, Factory Talk Optics is the new uh, SCADA from Rockwell Automation. Now we are in version 1.3 of uh, Influx, no, it's not score, of Factory Talk Optics. And here you need the HTTP um, script to be able to, uh, to write to InfluxDB. But if you wait to version 1.4, that will be delivered soon. Uh, you will have an embedded connector to the InfluxDB, and you can write directly. Okay, you can write to a locker or to a cloud InfluxDB instance. Uh, here, I will show you how to take data from the SCADA and make a HTTP transaction to your InfluxDB instance. Okay, yeah, this is the environment uh, where you have your user interface with the main window. I have it here. You also have some variables I use to interact with to get the response. You also have your uh, NetLogic. This is the script that you will use for um, making an HTTP request. And it's so easy, you just go to the library and you just look for um, REST API. And we have it here. You just drag and drop to your project, anywhere in your project. And you can just use it. Once you have it, you find some methods for instance, if I introduce a button, so when you click the button on mouse click event, you find this method that it's calling a REST API and a POST with some parameters. The parameters are similar to what we have done before. You have to put the uh, URL, you have to introduce uh, organization, in the bucket, we will use the optics bucket here. You can use your measurement and your sensor ID and your data. You can put more than one data here, of course. You can use your token and that's all. And let's test this. I'm going to um, write this data, okay? 2000. Uh, so let's go here. I execute a run this the runtime. Let's say that the environment is uh, free of charge and this runtime will stop after some time. So you can practice and make tests with uh, factory talk optics. You can download and do these tests, tests with no cost. Let me inject, I click this button and I uh, have the response, everything is okay. Okay, now I go to the database. I move to my bucket called optics. Here we have the optics bucket. Okay, this one. And 
Excuse me. This one. And I submit. But let me change to the single stat. And submit. Yeah, we have the number here, 2000. And this is the tutorial you can find in GitHub to make this demo exactly for you. Now we will talk about the classical SCADA software from Rockwell Automation called Factory Talk View, that in the new version, version 14, it has new features like the integration with this database. So now you have a, a new edge historian capability, this embedded database that you will find when you open your new um, factory tool view. So we will get some data from a PLC in the demo I will do now. I will use a simulated PLC with factory talk echo, uh, running a PLC program with three values that will make a time evolution in ways of a sine wave. And using this Datalog Pro, you will be able to store this data in the integrated InfluxDB instance. Okay, so now I go to the live demo. Let me open the Factory Tool View Studio and I will open a site edition running instance. This is opening. Well, it's opening. I will show you, first of all, the emulated PLC. This is a compact, compact word logics running in this IP address. This is my local host. And now it's running. OK. Uh, I will open the PLC. This is my PLC. And now it's online and it's running. We have three signals, sine wave, this one, this one. This is the application that will be starting to inject data. And what is important here is the data log pro. Here is where you specify which stacks you can navigate with uh, factory all links, network explorer to your tags. You can select the tags and make a collection, populate here. And you can also configure that this tag from the PLC will be periodically sampled. Now, we can choose tag name. And let me, here you have the three values. Do you see? Here's the data structure you have to use. And we can submit here and put this last minute. And we have here the sine wave. OK. And we inject some values. Here we have the signals that are changing here. The three signals. And we also have it here. I can stop the PLC making program mode. So this is stopped. If we go to the database and submit, we see that no more data is uh, evolving, changing from the PLC, but we are getting samples each second, but in a linear way, not in a sine wave. And this is the questions time. So I, I leave, I stop sharing. Okay. And I go back here. Awesome. Thank you so much for the great presentation. Um, it's very engaging and informative. Um,